we will be learning about software testing life cycle so let us start and see what is software testing life cycle software testing life cycle also called as stlc may be defined as a sequence of activities that are conducted during testing process so that defect free quality product can be delivered to client there are various phases of software testing life cycle which are given as below requirement analysis test planning test case development test environment setup test execution test cycle closure now we will see different phases of software testing life cycle one by one let us start from requirement phase testing at many places this phase is called requirement analysis phase in this phase testing team is required to have understanding of the requirement or in other words we can say that testing team needs to identify testable requirements because this team is responsible for de delivering defect free quality product to the client and therefore need to have proper understanding of the application functionalities so that not even a single functionality of the application is left untested testing team may be required to interact with stakeholders in order to understand requirements in detail and clarify all doubts if they have any related to the application this is very important phase for software testing because all testing activities depends on the requirement gathering now let us see all the activities that is done during requirement phase testing as given below identify types of test which needs to be performed preparing requirement testability matrix rtm in order to have idea of test coverage identifying test environment detail where testing is supposed to be carried out automation feasibility analysis if required for any application deliverables of requirement phase testing needs to be focused on next phase of software testing life cycle is test planning what happens in this phase is that this plan is prepared for all the testing activities by senior qa manager who are responsible for defining test strategy which will contain various important information along with the effort and cost estimate for the project moreover other information like resourcing defining test environment test limitations along with the testing schedule are also defined so in this phase test plan is prepared which is very important part of software testing life cycle which acts as guiding principle for whole test management process let us see all the activities that are performed in this phase preparation of test plan strategy document for various types of testing selection of test tools estimation of test effort resource planning along with roles and responsibilities training requirement if required for the project deliverables of test planning has to be defined which contain the following document depending upon the project requirement test plan or test strategy document effort estimation document after test planning is done the next phase of software testing life cycle is preparation of test cases which is also called test case development phase
test case development phase is very important phase of software testing life cycle which involves the creation of test cases and test scripts test data is also prepared in this phase of software testing life cycle basically test cases are required to define testing scenarios which are required to be tested by the testing team so that the fact can be found in the functionality of those scenarios if there is any all the defects are fixed and verified by the testing team in this phase only real work related to the application testing starts and test case preparation forms the basis of test execution which is next phase of software testing life cycle but before that let us understand all the activities that is done during test case development they are given as below creation of test cases or automation script if needed reviewing test cases and test script and baseline it deliverables of test case development test cases scripts test data test environment setup Test environment setup may be defined as available software and hardware condition where the application is required to be tested. This activity is conducted in parallel with test case development. This environment should be similar to the production environment where the code is required to be reviewed. Smoke testing is done in this environment. Now it is time to see all the activities that is involved in test environment setup. They are given as below. Understand the required architecture environment setup. Prepare hardware and software requirement list for the test environment. Set up test environment and test data. Perform a smoke test on the build. Deliverables of test environment setup. A smoke test results. Test execution phase. Test execution phase is carried out by the testing team, which by testing team which are required to do testing on the latest release of software built. All these activities are carried according to test plans and test cases are prepared. If test is related to automation testing, then we should look at test script execution, test script maintenance and bug reporting. During this test case execution on the application, If there is any deviation found in the test case requirement in the form of defect bug, then it is reported to development team and responsibility of testing team is to ensure that all the defects are reported to the development team for correction. If bugs are reported, then it is reported back to development team for correction. Let us see some of the activities that are performed during test case execution. They are given as below. Execute test case as per, per test case and test plan. Documentary of summary of total past and failed test cases and logging of defects for failed cases. Mapping of found defects to test cases in RTM. Requirement traceability matrix. Retesting of all the defects that has been fixed by the development team. Tracking the defects to the time it is closed in order to ensure that all the defects are fixed. It includes tracking of all the activities including regression testing and retesting. Now let us see what will be the deliverables in this phase of software testing life cycle. They are given as below.
completed RTM with the execution status, test cases updated with results, defect reports, test cycle closure. This is last page of software development life cycle. This page of software development life cycle includes several activities such as testing, such as test case completion, reporting, collection of test, completion matrix, matrices and test results. Testing team also discuss about the testing activities that has been done and also discuss the lesson learned so as to improve the performance so as to improve the process for the testing for next project. Let us see some of the activities that are involved in test cycle closure. They are given as below. Although it is not very important document that is already considered, but there should be report of evolution of cycle completion criteria based on time, test coverage, cost, software, critical business objective, quality, prepared test matrix based on the parameters that has been given above. Documentation of lesson learned should be there so that process can be improved for next testing process for next project. Preparation of test closure report, preparation, proper reporting of quality of the work product to the customer. Test result analysis to find out defect distribution by type and severity. Let us see some of the deliverables of this phase called test cycle closure. Test site closure report, test matrix. So in this tutorial, we saw different phases of software testing life cycle starting from requirement gathering to test closure, which includes preparation of test plan and test cases along with test case execution and reporting of defects and getting the defects fixed by development team and closing the test.